hi everyone and welcome back to dragon eye creations if you're new here my name is laurel and i love to create unfortunately i haven't been able to be here with you guys i had to take a couple months off just to recharge myself and i've missed it so much so today i am back and i thought what a better way to make a comeback than with one of my very first gnomes i ever shared on facebook that I said I would make a tutorial for it. It always got pushed back. So we thought today would be a great day to do that. And we are going to work on making a little reading gnome. He is fairly simple to make. We're gonna make him and his little book as well. So happy to be able to come back and share him with you guys. So let's just jump into it and get started. Okay, we are going to start with one pool noodle. This is three and a quarter inches across and four inches long. And I'm just going to Put that inside of one sock here and then fill this center with pebbles. This just gives us some weight, keeps our little guy centered. And then when you're done, you're just going to trim off the top of your sock, add a little hot glue all along the top, and then fold it all into the center. Then we're going to start on our hat. So for this, I'm using a piece of minky fabric here. This is nine by 14 and a half. For the trim piece, it should be about 14 and a half by two and a half. This one's a little long, so I will trim it off. And then we're just gonna add a strip of hot glue and glue those good side to good side right along the bottom. Fold it over, tack that down, and then we're gonna add another strip of hot glue and then fold over our trim right at the back there. Then fold it right in half. Find your center point at the top and start cutting so you have a triangle shape right down to the bottom. I do a slightly rounded triangle. Add a strip of hot glue all along the one side, making sure to really get it into that minky fabric at the base. And then press it all firmly together. Without burning yourself is always the key. Once it's cooled off, we are going to turn it right side out adding a little polyfill into the top. I wanted to have a little bend in mine, so I made sure I kind of broke it down in the center there, as you can see, just kind of play around so tell you're happy with it. For the pants, I am using some gray minky. This is a 10 by two inch piece, and I'm just going to add a strip of hot glue and tack down the top. Another strip of hot glue along the one end here. And then some hot glue all along the top and we're going to roll our pool noodle up in there add a little strip of hot glue at the back to finish it and then i just added some hot glue along the bottom and folded it all down sorry i got out of camera for you to see that now we're going to cut a cardboard circle this is about three three and a quarter inches in diameter just like our pool noodle and then we're going to just add some hot glue and glue that to the bottom of some of that same gray fabric we used for his pants and cut all the way around that so there's about half an inch all the way around to cut some tabs that we are going to hot glue and fold down over top of that cardboard just making sure it's all covered neatly add a little hot glue to the bottom of our pool noodle and just press down firmly with that cardboard next we are going to work on our coat this is 11 by three inch piece of minky fabric I'm using. The trim is 19 by two inches. I just did this all in one long piece. So you just kind of go along the corner there, add some hot glue in pieces, press it down, and just follow all the way around the bottom three edges. You don't need to do the top. I cut mine a little long, so we're just gonna trim that off. And we're going to do the same thing as we did for a hat and just tack it down now all the way around so that your fabric goes over top of the trim at the back side here. That just makes it easier to now add some hot glue and start tacking down your trim all the way around the, to the back side. Just hot glue in little pieces as you go, trying not to burn yourself. I usually do a few times per gnome. <laughs> that little hot glue all along the top now of the pool noodle and then just wrap that coat right around there, just gathering it slightly all the way around. Finish it off with a little hot glue at the trim area. 
we are now going to take a couple of hair foam rollers. For the first one, we are removing the wire and then folding it in half and cutting it directly in the center. We are going to take two pieces of minky fabric, the same as our coat. These are four and a half by three and a half inch pieces. We're going to add a strip of trim, which is three and a half by one and a half. We're going to hot glue those good side to good side right along the bottom and then fold it over and tack it down at the back with some more hot glue. Same way we did our hat and our coat just to add our trim here. Little more hot glue right along the side of our sleeve just to fold down that one edge just to finish it off so it looks nice. Then we're gonna add a strip of hot glue, add your hair foam roller and roll it up nice and tight. Some more hot glue to finish it off and just overlap that top piece. Same thing with our second one, make a nice edge with some hot glue, add some more hot glue on the other side, add your hair foam roller and roll it up tight. We're then going to take wires out of two hair foam rollers removing the loopy end from one end each. Poke them into our hair foam rollers that we have rolled up. Add a little hot glue on the other end. We wanna make sure we've got a little wire sticking out the other end, the pokey end there to add our hands later. About half an inch is all you need. Then we're gonna take the two loop ends that we have left on the other end and pinch those together with a tool. Add those to your pool noodle where you want them and just bend those wires in Give it a little twist so it's nice and tight. And once you're happy with where they are, you're just gonna finish it off with some hot glue there. For our legs, we have some hair foam rollers that I've cut into two inch long pieces. And then for fabric, these are two inches long as well. And we are going to just add some hot glue to the edge, wrap that right up and roll it up nice and tight with some hot glue again. So a little nice edge, roll it up, add some hot glue with our hair foam roller inside. And then we're taking a aluminum foil cardboard tube here. This is the tube right over the aluminum foil. These are a little stiffer, I like to use these. We're going to measure one inch all the way around and then cut that with our knife. Do that for the second one as well, one inch all the way around. Cut it with your X-Acto knife. Two soda pop lids here, just some plastic lids. We are going to put glue those to some scrap cardboard and with the soda lids right in front. Little hot glue, add those down. Trim all the way around those once it has cooled off. So you have a figure eight shape there. And then we are going to wrap those in some more pink minky. This fabric is two inches by seven inches. We're going to add a strip of hot glue to the one end and fold it down. And then a strip of hot glue to the bottom and roll up our booty in it. Some hot glue along the top of the lid there and inside the tube. And we're going to fold it on top and then fold it all inside of the lid. Again, a strip of hot glue along the bottom edge and then along the bottom edge as well. We're gonna tack down the one edge, sorry, and then we're going to roll it up into the hot glue, finishing it off with some hot glue at the back there as well, just to fold it over. Glue on the top of the lid and inside the tube, just tack it all down then. Then we can add our legs, making sure they fit. I'm going to take these wooden skewers, we're gonna cut them so that they are about three inches long. Add a little hot glue inside the hair foam roller and add your wooden skewer. Same thing with the other one, add the wooden skewer with some hot glue. Bunch of glue inside the booty now and then add the hair foam roller inside that. So that the pokey end of course is sticking up. <laughs> then we're gonna use a wooden skewer on this side I used to poke into that pool noodle and through the fabric add that booty in there. This side was a little tough, tougher, I had some pebbles in the way there, so I just got out a metal tool and used it. Same way, just poke those where you'd like your booty sticking out right at the front. So I'm cutting our beard at about four inches wide, and I'm just gonna find the center and then cut it into a triangle shape. Just kind of comb that out. And I'm just gonna put that to the side for now as we start on our book. 
So for the book, I have a piece of cardstock here that I've cut at about four by two inches wide. And then I'm just going to, I just colored it with a pencil crayon a little bit on the inside, folding it now to give it a binding. Just used a square edge there to help give me those edges. And then just kind of keep playing around folding it. Then I'm going to take some paint here. I took some burnt sienna first of all and started going over it. Side that was just too too uh, ready colored so I added some dark brown to that. A little bit of water to water it down so it's not quite so harsh. And then just start going over it so I like that color better. Unfortunately it was still just too much paint for me. I thought I'm, I'm trying to make it look more worn so I just added more water once again. So I took a big brush and just really just watered it right down. As you can see, just kind of went over it a couple times so I was happy with what it looked like. It was quite wet when I was done, so we let that dry for a while. That also gave it a more worn look, which I like. Once it was dry, I took some markers out and just wrote gnome tails, and then just started making some vines and leaves and such. Just doodles. You can make your cover look however you want. Whatever you think your little fairy t gnome fairy tale book would look like. I then took a gold marker just to um, trace out the binding. Some more gold lines just to outline everything. Then I just took some regular white paper, kind of marked out the size there. stack of that and kind of crumple it up. You don't want it too crumpled. We just don't want our pages really flat. We want it to look like an old worn book that he's read a lot. Added a few extra pages, decided I needed it a little thicker. Just trim it down so it's all the same. Not being overly picky here as you can tell. A little more crumpling. Then I cut them right in half. So just fold it, cut it right down the center. Trim where need to once again. I did a lot of trimming as you can see. <laughs> Press them all together firmly, adding a whole bunch of hot glue right on the edge there. And then we're going to press that right into the inside of our book cover that we made. Trimming it off once again. And then I took some gold paint and just lightly painted along the edges of our book. Just on the, the paper edges part. Picked which page I am going to have it open to. Added a little water. A little more gold paint. Kind of just smush it in there. Didn't want it too dark, so just kind of, just so it looks kind of worn. And then I took a brown marker and just kind of made squiggly little lines. Drew a little superhero gnome quickly. No one can really see the inside of this, so this is more just for your own enjoyment than anything, probably. I had fun making this these books, so I like this part. And once we have all of our pieces now together, I grabbed a polymer clay nose and hands that I've made previously. I will leave a link in the description of where you can learn to make those as well. Then a little E6000 in the center of our polymer clay nose with some hot glue right around the edge. With polymer clay, it is handy to use a little E6000. Polymer clay doesn't always hold it, or sorry, hot glue doesn't always hold it completely. So a little E6000, little hot glue, and then just press firmly. Add some hot glue to the inside of our hat so we can, all the way around, so we can just attach that to the top of our guy. Put his little fold back in. You can add a little hot glue for his fold if you want to, to make it stay there for sure. Now I just remove the legs, add some hot glue to those wooden skewers. Again, some more hot glue on the wooden skewer on the other side. Press it back in firmly. Little E6000 on the wires that are sticking out for the hands. Then we're going to add some hot glue to those hands and just poke those right on. Same thing on the other one. I'd already added the E6000. So now we just added some hot glue, poked them right in there. A 
Again, a little E6000 and a little hot glue to attach our book to our hands. Just pressing it down firmly, hold it for a little bit till it's dry. Then I decided we'd just finish off the hat a little bit, so I grabbed a styrofoam ball that is one inches in diameter. Just cut a scrap piece of, of that same pink minky. Just here about half an inch all the way around so it, you have enough to glue. And then just add that hot glue. Yep, always get a little bit of burn somewhere, like I said. <laughs> and just press it all together firmly in the center just to cover up the whole ball. That's the great thing with this fluffy minky is you don't see your seams, which is wonderful. Trim off any extra. Add some hot glue onto the ugly side there. And then just attach it directly to the point of your hat. There he is, our little reading gnome is all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you guys so much for all sticking around with me. I appreciate every one of you so, so much. So thanks again. And don't forget to hit the button so that you don't miss any other creations. So until next time, love to all.